some spoilers. Do the slides work? Okay. My presentation today is about the Oracle, Oracle in the blockchain. My name is Anton Nikonov. I work in uh, MetaDK and uh, our profile is everything that has to do with cryptocurrency. Does anyone know what Oracle in the crypto world are? Oracle attack, attack on Oracle is a very famous type of attack. One of the attacks every week, or two attacks, are about Oracle manipulation. 3.8 billion tracks. No, 3.8 dollars, uh, billion dollars. So what are Oracle? Who is the Oracle? If we leave 2,000 years ago, we say that they live in Greece and they see the future. Here is how they were depicted. And about a thousand years, nothing has changed, but now they are in the blockchain. Here is how they work. Oracle is a data dispatcher, but not the source. It takes some data from the API, from other places, sends them to our blockchain, and if it wants to get the information from the blockchain, then Oracle's это off-chain. It takes it from the internet. Then. There are off-chain oracles and on-chain oracles. They manipulate the information that was in on-chain oracles. Manipulate the information that was created on-chain. Uniswap, DAX exchange. You can ask them about the amount of transactions, the volumes, the average price. You can set up any threshold, but it's easier to manipulate. Off-chain, Coinbase, Coin Market Cap, are slower, but more reliable. Chainlink is here for some strange reason because it takes data from two sides and it tries to be both reliable and fast. Information for the information is the statistics about the Oracle. 380 million was stolen because of Oracle manipulation. 41 attacks succeeded in 2022. 400 million was stolen. 41 attacks. Use cases. Where are the Oracles used? DeFi, credit. Most importantly, DeFi, enterprise solutions, insurance, NFT collectibles, gaming, and blockchain. Native random is not there. Oracle. There's no native random on the blockchain, so it comes from the Oracles. Five main solutions in DeFi where they use the oracles, mirrored assets, lending and borrowing. For example, if you want to represent Apple stock. Stable coins, oh, if you want to represent one stock or one uh, dollar, for example. Asset managers, if you want to manage your portfolio automatically and Options and futures. The first type of vulnerability is has to do with lending and borrowing. Bad debt for loaning protocols, Venus, that we will discuss later. I got 79 million dollars of debt. Как работает lending and borrowing? Это примерно как How does lending and borrowing work? Вы приходите с им золотым колечком. Same as the. В данном случае оценщик это the gold exchange, for example. If the oracle wants to. Денег настоящих. То есть ваше колечко стоит 10 тысяч. Он выдает. Take your money. Your, for example, your ring costs ten thousand. И вы можете как бы не возвращать. Больше не выкупить. But if it goes down in price, then. Один из первых. Крупных взломов произошел в основу свою цену. Compound finance 
под бейсинг price on DAI price, on the DAI token price, because they used only one source of data, Coinbase. В какой-то момент выросла на 30% за 1 доллар. The price дороже, нежели настоящего американского доллара. Крипто-доллар стоит дороже, чем Венус, о ком я Кто-нибудь помнит, как в прошлом году упал протокол Луна, UST. Do you remember how Luna fell? Вижу руки, отлично. То есть UST, они, там, упали, там много миллионов, миллиардов долларов. They went down. Many billions dollars were stolen. BNB. Он опирался на чейнинг. BNB блокчейн was цену в 10 долларов, то есть они просто включили на 10 долларов, Take a lot of bad loans. Eleven million was. Если бы the loss. Не было запасов резервов, то они бы. If DAO did not have the reserves, they would die. Use case, также. The use case. Использование оракулов. Это. We use the oracles. We can use the oracles. Блокчейне нету. As random generators, because there's no native random number generators in the blockchain, because all the transactions have have to be checked. So random should either be the same for everyone, or it cannot be implemented on the blockchain. It's determination. То есть user principle of the blockchain. So user goes into the smart contract. Мы загрузили какие-то loot boxes, например where we've loaded some loot boxes. Link, uh, verify, and using the chain link, random функция, verify random function, есть, the price is split between the people. The chain link updates its random every time, and you can check it in the future. When the miners check, they need to check that the random event has occurred. So they see that the chain link was the source of data. У меня есть личный кейс. Как... I have my personal case. Я работал в проекте и. I lost money. I worked in uh, the project that had uh, mechanics with users buying the loot box boxes, and we integrated the random function wrongly. So it could call the function. Look at what he gets and then confirm whether he wants to pay for this loot box or not. So he wants to buy, calls the function, first would take the most expensive NFTs and then decide to buy for it. Also one of the most interesting, in my opinion, new oracle types. Off-chain, on-chain. We saw them on the off-chain and on-chain. This is an on-chain oracle. То есть Uniswap в данные в сглаженном виде. То есть Uniswap V1 and V2 can сглаженную provide you with по времени, например, там каждые 30 минут, которые вы выберете. На мой взгляд, это перспективнее, нежели off-chain, wiser than the off-chain oracle, because you see the price on the market, and we suppose that the arbitrage seekers will equalize the cost on all the exchanges, so the price inside the blockchain will be fair. Let's go back. Here is the pawn uh, shop. It, it assesses not the cumulative cost. Uh, in order not to be liquidated, as in compound. 
And if they use the moving average, then the price would not mm, fluctuate, fluctuate that fast and the risk factor. Uh, they would not have to invalidate the people who have accessed their risk factor. Uh, the same protocol is used for Euler Finance. They were hacked not because of the Oracle, but because of the logic they tried to put into the project. They actually tried to build something, something similar based on the moving averages. But then when we saw how often those protocols are being hacked, we decided not to. Go that way. Maybe someday we will come back. Yeah, I was I was actually very fast then during my presentation. So here are the useful links that I recommend. You look on the first one is uh, all the events in crypto that are happening. Also mixed bytes. They have a lot of very interesting news and materials. And rec.news uh, is the post-mortem analysis when, for example, yes. Post-mortem, so post того, как взломали протокол, там уже after the protocol was hacked, they usually give a good overview of how how it was done. Yeah, I remembered actually what I wanted to say. I remembered actually what I wanted to say. Attacks on the most classic. Example of a pawn shop protocol attack is we need to somehow change the price of the string, either move it up or down. And last year, 2024, in October, Solana had a Mongo protocol. A person used flash loans to increase the price of this token a lot, and using that token, you could take a lot of loans. Of course, then the price of the token was reduced, and he got $100 million. He actually admitted the hack and disappeared. For some strange reason, no one ever saw him. Anymore. Also, all of the oracles have widespread usage like usage scenarios like uh, weather. Oracles также есть более другие применения такие как пари на погоду, пари на какие-то. For example, you make bets on совершенно других сфер из реальной. The weather, football. На них атаки намного реже, потому что spheres of real life. The only attack are less often. Колечко в Ломбарде. But mostly they are used to calculate the price of stuff in the pawn shop. Внедрению оракулов в NFT. There are also solutions to implement oracles into an NFT. Вы под этот флор. They provide a floor price. For some collection, if you pay that full price, you can take a loan, and you bring me that ring in the form of an NFT. And Chainlink will say that they will not liquidate you until the price of this collection goes down significantly. Also, some exploits were present. Same mechanics of uh, the price of the collection being pumped, and then you adopt. Полезные ссылки. Еще полезные ссылки. Подробно расписано про все механики атак. All the attack mechanics described there. Ленин протоколов. Seven deadly scenes of protocols. Lending, borrowing, the fire attack. Разбираются манипуляция оракул. Oracle manipulations. Pessimistic. And the fourth one is about Pessimistic, uh, is a pessimistic blog about the use of the random numbers in the email link uh, And this is me, Anton Metazeke. Sorry, I finished fast. Thank you very much. Questions? Ah, block of questions, of course. 
questions and answers. You mentioned the on-chain oracles being more manipulative. What are the attack vectors on the on-chain oracles? How can you manipulate them? Why are they less stable? As the on-chain oracles represent themselves as tax exchanges. Some centralized exchange, like Binance or Compound, cannot be used by us. If you are a malicious user, you cannot pump the pool. But you can use flash loans here, so you can pump the price in uh, one block. And we had hacks like this, with a person, user, taking the flash loan, taking the loan, and immediately returning it, as this is unchanged. The pool is less stable here, there are no market makers, they are automatic, off-chain. The market makers are just living bots. So, on the off-chain, there are less hacks, and on the on-chain, there are more of them. So, yeah, moving averages help avoid those, out those outliers. Thank you. Здравствуйте. У меня такой вопрос. Как выглядит уязвимость понят? Hi, my question is the following. I understand how the vulnerabilities look and uh, what they are, but how do I be not a DEX, not some project, be just some person who buys themselves, they sell drinks? How do I, being a non-specialist, without the knowledge of the fine details of uh, partnerships and collabs uh, between the exchanges, how do I understand if my operation is safe? Well, the simple answer is don't invest in this. You, don't, you never know when something will happen. Zero days are in all those things. So don't use them if you are afraid of losing some. They audited, uh, the previous uh, presenter said that they audited most of them, and they trust that there are no vulnerabilities. But you, don't, you never know. If you don't want to lose money, you either have to run your own audit, which is hard, or just believe in the in the fate. On some platforms, you provide your own money, and for them not to be stolen, this not much options you well, not much what you can do. There are also insurance protocols, and but sometimes they don't work, and sometimes they cannot send you money back. For example, with next, they can say no. We don't insure those cases. We don't send you anything. Most of the cases they just don't pay. Asking two classical Russian questions. Who is to blame and what should we do? We understand who is to blame, but what should we do in terms of the protocol? One of the options is rely not, not to rely on one oracle, but rely on a number of them. How do we do it? So, for example, the attacker will attack two oracles, but it will be hard for them to... Uh, for example, if the protocol hacks both of them and one shows one dollar and one shows hundred million dollars, what does the protocol do? How does it understand that something is wrong? Reverse, there were the transactions and... Just wait for the problem to be fixed. Well, if two oracles, like Chainlink and uh, Moving Averages, show you great discrepancy, like 30%, they can yeah, put it on pause and say, hey, we need to see what's going on. To diversify the data suppliers so that you could rely on the second providers 
And yeah, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Другие люди так говорят, то есть вот. То есть диверсификация. Diversify. Thank you. Подскажи, пожалуйста, а вот какие еще сигналы полчаса быть недоступен, и вас за это время могут взломать? This time can be used to hack you. So there are no signals that can use beforehand. You can dump all the blockchain, check everything, and uh, with a specific solution, you can come and we will not notice anything. Because we now are creating solutions like pessimistic uh, work on that. But whether it is a successful way, I don't know. For example, they see you creating some strange signature or running some interaction. So they will alert the team that something strange is happening. But can they really prevent the hack? I don't know. И на какой срок вообще можно so what is the ущерба там для, amount of time? для протокола? Да. На какой срок что можно? Amount of time for what? Uh, what is the amount of time you, you can stop? То есть обычно это... Well, it depends on the protocol. Usually the first freeze is 15 minutes, the second one is one day, something was found, it can be three days. It's decided in the DAO. Не включить эту функцию, сказать, такой функции у нас не будет. This function can be turned off. Because freezing is no, double-edged sword. For example, in scam, we freeze something, we change something, so it can be also used against us. So yeah, the decision is made by the team depending on a lot of subjective feelings. Первоначально как 15 минут, на 15 минут могут заразить, If, затормозить из-за алерта. Вот. Привет, спасибо за доклад. Пускай, пожалуйста. Hi, по факту выявления таких уязвимостей, уязвимости, как быстро они устраняют? Or the protocol owners to fix them. Well, they do their best usually to fix uh, the issues as fast as possible. So, you know, they lost 80 million dollars. They don't have it. Потому что средства уже украли, их уже отмыли. To compensate the damages. Вы ставите просто на стол, когда money has been stolen. You just stop. And when the hole is closed, then you can come back. How fast is it? Well. Usually weak, but can be very subjective.